not believe it when they tell you that oh drink this tea it's going to give you flat tummy in three days you don't have to work out that's a lie. one two three fuck it my darling i love you i love you i love you hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am very excited about today's video guys i'm very excited that once again i am in front of the camera making beautiful content for my lovely subscribers so I'm very excited <laughs> today's video i'm going to be talking about tips tricks secrets to keeping your body snatched as a woman sometimes we always struggle with tummy fat we always struggle with keeping it together and no matter what we do we work out we eat healthy and for some reason they just it doesn't it doesn't just cooperate with us like what is wrong with you so today i'm going to be sharing tips and tricks you know some of the secrets that this um that this models use that this instagram models use that it always keeps thinning Nah. Disclaimer guys, I am in no way a um, fitness guru or a nutritionist. These are some of the um, tips that I have used, some of the things that I've tried that have incorporated into my daily lifestyle and even for some reason they work for me. So I'm sharing with you guys and some of these the things I learned from prominent supermodels, um, Instagram models. These are some of the things that they do that makes them keep looking snatched. If I'm looking down, I um, I wrote some of the tips down here, okay, so I don't leave anything out for you guys. So when you wake up in the morning, first thing you should do is look a warm water with um, a slice of lemon, squeeze it in and drink. That should be the first thing that you should take into your body you know, as soon as you wake up, okay? Even before brushing your teeth, simple remedy is great. It helps with bloating, it helps with um, indigestion, it helps with, um, it basically just helps to clear your system. You know, you have a nice system. You're starting your day with a nice system. So if you're someone that has had um, a huge dinner, this is just going to help clear you. Now, as little as five minutes, guys, you, Oh, you want to visit the toilet, okay? You want to do number two because this stuff, like I said, it flushes everything. So that is what it is. And it also helps with flat tummy. It helps burn all those fats that you have in your tummy, right? So another one is working out. Yes, working out is <laughs> working out is like so hard, guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's like one of the hard things that, but well, you have to do it. That is it, you have to do it. It's very, very difficult. I know a lot of you find it difficult to keep up, you know, working out and all. But this is one thing that we really, really don't want to stop doing. Our bodies are designed to move, okay? You should always be on the move. And I'm not saying you have to go lock yourself in the gym, you know, working out and sweating. You can basically just do some sort of cardio. Like you can go on the treadmill, you can go for a run, you can go for run for walk yeah you can take a walk you can take your dog out for a walk and just try to get in as much exercise even even if it's just a little bit of exercise a little bit of cardio just try to get it in and what cardio does is it helps to keep your heart rate up that way you're burning more calories even hours after the workout is to burn calories so very very important keep it in do not believe it when they tell you that oh drink this tea it's going to give you flat tummy in three days you don't have to work out that's a lie you still have to do some sort of workouts okay again you can do target targeted workouts like for your abs we have like push-ups we have bicycles we have plank you know do your research whatever works for you whatever you're comfortable with doing do it work. make sure you are doing some sort of exercise another tip is portion control portion control is very crucial when it comes to keeping that healthy body keeping a healthy lifestyle in general what is portion control to do with knowing how much carbs you're eating in a day and how much protein and fat you're eating in a day um you can do your research right and you can find out for your body type everybody have different body type different metabolic rates right so you can 
do your research basically find out the amount of carb the amount of protein and the amount of fats that you need to be consuming on a daily basis this way is going to help you keep track you don't want to be consuming too much um, carb or too much fat or whatever that you're supposed to be consuming okay you don't want to be doing that because that's where um weight gain another one is incorporating more vegetables and fruits into your diet it is important not just for staying fit you know having a flat tummy it also goes for overall um health it's also great for your overall health so as much as you can try to incorporate vegetables and fruits to your daily diet no matter how small it is try to always bulk up your food i prefer to bulk up my food with vegetables and fruits than bulking it up with more carbs okay you don't want to do that always make sure to you know incorporate some vegetables into your diet another one is water intake what's your water intake like and guys i know that this might probably sound like um, a broken record because everybody says drink water, drink water. You know, even and drinking water is great for your overall health. We're talking about skin, we're talking about hair, we're talking about everything. So water is excellent for your body, guys. Like this is no joke. I know we probably hear it a lot, and we think you know, the probably just exaggerating. But drinking water is excellent. It helps with indigestion. It helps with bloating. Sometimes try this if you're like bloated, you know, you eat too much. Drink about two glasses of water and you see that immediately you're rushing to drink you know, to, to flush out all those extra food from your body. And trust me, it works. So it is great for that. It is great for bloating. It is great for um, digestion. You want your food to digest faster? Drink water. Water is excellent. If you must, if you must, um, get an app. There are so many apps that remind you to drink water. <laughs> yes, I have an app that reminds me to drink water because drinking water is so important. I am not ashamed of it. Don't judge me, guys. Drinking water is very, very important. My next um, tip is making sure you are on your caloric deficit. Okay? Now, what is a caloric deficit? Um, a caloric deficit occurs when you consume fewer calories than your body expends. It basically means consuming less calories than your body uses it. Because you know, every day, our body has a certain amount of calories mm -hmm. that it uses up to function, all your organs and everything. Even just sleeping, when you're sleeping, your body is using calories to work. So you do not want to consume more calories than your body expends. If that makes sense. You guys want me to make a detailed video on caloric deficit. I'm definitely open to doing that with you guys because once you start doing this, you find that every other thing just falls in place. Reaching a caloric deficit is very important. That's, that is what everyone should strive um, on achieving daily. If you guys want me to make a video on that, I'm going to make a detailed video on that. And also, you could Google this and so you know what it really means, you know what it entails. Because this is really, really, really important. Once you get this in the back, trust me, every other thing to get to fall in place. There are other things that I would like you to put into consideration when going into this journey, when applying all these tips and tricks that I have mentioned here for you guys, okay? I want you to put this um, at the back of your mind. One thing is you have to be patient, right? Patience is key. When it, I think patience applies to every, every areas of our lives basically patience is key you have to be patient okay for you know you're working out you have to be patient you don't just don't just think oh one you know i did 10 push-ups my tummy is automatically going to be flat it doesn't work like that you know we all have different body types someone might do a certain workout and it will work for the person in let's say um, two weeks the person will start seeing results and yours might take longer or even um, lesser so it depends on your body type Depend on how much you're putting into it. I like to say this, guys. It is not a destination. It is a journey. There's no cure for having flat tummy. You have to keep doing it. You have to keep working out. You have to keep eating healthy. And all of that works again. It's something that should be your lifestyle. 
physically. This, all of these things that I mentioned should be a lifestyle for you. It should just be like breathing. It should come as natural as that, right? And once you make it a lifestyle, trust me, it is never going to depart from you. And again, I want to mention that working out and um, eating healthy goes hand in hand. One cannot do without the other. You can't say, oh, I just want to eat healthy, I'm not going to work out. Our bodies, and I'm, by workouts, guys, again, I don't mean, you know, killing yourself in the gym. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean doing some sort of workouts, even if you're just taking a walk or even walking around your own, doing chores. You know, it's enough. You don't just want to sit on the couch, not moving your body. You need to move your body in some, some way. You really need to. Especially if you're someone that's trying to lose weight or trying to lose belly fat. Trust me, you have to move your body, girl. You need a balance, okay? You need a balance between everything. You need to balance everything for you. You're not just going to say, oh, I'm working out. Therefore, I can eat any hour I like. Does it work that one is consistency, alright? Be consistent with everything that I mentioned here. Like I said, it is not an overnight fix. It is not a cure. You need to be consistent. You need to keep putting in work, alright? You need to keep putting in work. Start small. Okay, you don't have to start maybe tomorrow. You start going to the gym, start lifting it. <laughs> no, start small. Just take your dog out for a walk. Self-disciplined. Once you're self-disciplined, you know, you set a goal for yourself. Like, oh, I want to lose um, so, so so kgs you know, in a month's time, two months' time, whatever. Make sure you keep to that. That is being self-disciplined and all these things. You know, when you tell yourself, oh, today I'm going to eat this, I'm going to eat that, I'm not going to have any junk food. Make sure you keep to that. Make yourself accountable for everything that you're doing. Apply all these tips that I've mentioned and trust me, you're on your way to having that dream body that you've always wanted. But like I said, you have to put in the work, guys. It is not magic. It is not a one day. If you guys find this video helpful, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Please, please subscribe to my channel. I'll leave a comment for me in the comment section below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, you might help somebody out there. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.